That's my tip to do that. Now, equipment. Thank you for your patience, Sudo. I appreciate you. you get, you've already got an A. Um, what to do with equipment. So the main thing about equipment is don't spend it. It's like we don't have that much, right? Like um, I think you said you were saving it. That's a great idea. That's You have the right idea. That is that is, You are on the right track already. Uh, so here, this is what I have to recycle, right? So that's probably going to be enough to, yeah, so I can buy like something. Um, <clears throat> so we have to be careful with where we spend it because we don't have a lot of, of options, right? We don't, we don't get a lot of, uh, the resource. So where, I mean, and that changes eventually, I think, but for most of the first, the whole, for most of you guys, for pretty much all the foreseeable future, you're going to be short on resources for foraging. So... The, the important things to think about are which heroes you're even using because it's going to suggest to you, like, here, let me go back a page. Here, you can see what the average level of the gear for that here that type of hero is here. So you see, like, support is 75, but my marksman is 84. My mage is 69. Um, <laughs> this is... Show like so it's showing the average of all the pieces. So like my mage gear needs big ups, right? But look at my mages. I'm not using any of them. Not really. I was using Viperium, but like I said, I've moved to the Mauler uh group, my, my little Mauler trio. So because I'm not using my mages, I'm not upgrading my mage gear. But the game will probably even suggest like go when not and one caveat to that is if you pick up a piece, like, because sometimes you'll get one from a, a chest or something when you're fighting. If you pick a piece up, it'll have, like, a little exclamation down here. And it'll say, like, quick equip. Like, do that, because you already have it. <laughs> and I'm not saying, like, don't don't give them the pieces that you already picked up. Because uh, they are class specific. So it's not like you can save it for someone else. Like, go do that. If, if there's little exclamations down here at the bottom, click them and click the button. But when it comes to forging specifically... Um, I, I would recommend that you don't forge for your mages because none of the mages are useful until the end game. Really, not really. Um, not in mass and not in the way where you want to be. Now, of course, this is going to be different for someone who's a spender spender. Like, I don't even know if they can buy stuff for gear. I would expect so. You can buy most everything else, but I, I don't even know if you can buy forge stuff. So I, I can't speak to that. But for anyone who's even f uh, just your average player down to free to play like me uh that that's who we're talking about here so i the first rule is i would skip mages altogether but but it's not literally mages it's skip the classes that you're not using is what that means but it's almost always gonna be mages <laughs> to start with um if you look at my warriors i'm not really using any warriors either um, the only time that I'm using a warrior regularly is Kruger in uh, Dream Realm. And Kruger is... He do, he's pretty sturdy fellow. <sighs> what do I say about Kruger? He's not a damage doer. So he doesn't need to have crazy good gear. And he's not going to get knocked over by a boss any faster than anyone else. So that's not a reason to upgrade warriors. So probably you can leave warriors for now too. Unless you've like already got Scarlita. But again, if you've already got Scarlita and you're building her up, you're probably spending enough to where this may not be applying to you. Um, so the main thing that I, that I do is I keep Marksman completely updated almost almost all the way all the time uh, because look at who my marksmen are. It's Cecia, Eddie, Laika, and Merrily. Your marksmen are going to be dealing almost all of your damage for the whole first 800 AFK stages, probably. Unless, again, unless you're spending and then you may have Carolina in there or something, or Iron or... Um, because there are good rogues, right? I am using Shakir and Iron, uh, quite a, quite a bit, I guess, but, uh, or Vala is another rogue, so rogues can be good too. So, the first rule is don't spend it where you're not using it. And then the only other real rule, actually, which I should have just said before I even got into the marksman thing, first rule is... Don't spend it on heroes that you're not going to be using very much. So that's oftentimes mages and warriors right now. But look for yourself, right? 
And the second rule is I try not to upgrade anything if it's only going to go up five. I try to keep it at least to a 10 level upgrade. So what I mean by that is see how these boots on the tanks are set level 75. I try not to spend the resource to make them 80. I'd much rather upgrade this chest that is level 60 and needs to go up to 80. And I let the boots come later. I hope that makes a lot of sense. So like on my supports, it looks like I could really upgrade my supports because I've been pushing levels pretty quick here since I haven't been, I haven't been able to play the game for most of this whole last week because I've been working on this project uh, and building the greatest guild in the entire world with my brilliant partners, Season and, and all of our incredible leadership team, Bay and uh, at Laspian and everybody, all of them. Y'all know who you are. Um, so I, I am leveling so quickly right now that I'm playing today that like we're not, uh, I'm not keeping up, which is excellent, honestly. It's a great problem to have. So like this neck here on my supports, that's a great, because so, so the two that I mainly am upgrading are supports and marksmen. That's pretty much who you guys are gonna wanna upgrade unless you're using your rogues a lot and then you might do rogues and marksman and support, or maybe even you're just using your rogues. If you did go for, you know, some of you guys are gonna love Vala and go for Vala and you're building a Vala carry team, well then you'd want to focus mostly rogues and supports. But much like uh, Abyssal Expedition, if you've ever done Abyssal Expedition in AFK Arena, such as we are in right now, oh man, it's been a, and that's the other thing I've been spending my time on, guys. It's been Abyssal Expedition week and I'm a guild leader of a top 200 guild that's pushing for top 100. Like, on top of, all this <laughs> and sorry i'm not reading chat right now i'm trying to answer and then i will look at it in one second um so you want to so like this is going to be a good upgrade for me probably i don't have I'm, I'm actually i don't have a lot of resource right now at all really uh so let's see what the other options would do so this is crit resist so like the chest and the hat are usually defensive stuff and like one thing that I that I avoid. So other little tips that I can give you. Like I tend to not really care too much about upgrading the weapon for supports, for example. Although it's massive right now, <laughs> just yeah. But um, because they don't need to do a lot of damage. And I, as far as I know, I don't think crit. I don't know if crit affects healing or not. But it's it's mainly attack and then some crit for the support weapon. So like, eh, right. Uh, same thing with their gloves is mostly like attack and crit eh. but their neck is their healing prowess two whole points of healing and some hp we're in so yeah the main rules are don't upgrade shit you're not using and try and keep it to at least a 10 level upgrade at all times and if you try and keep it to at least a 10 level upgrade at all times then you'll you won't waste too many resources and that's like the key here. That's that's the only thing that you're at risk of when you're doing this, is spending it somewhere you don't need it or spending it on something that didn't need it, right? That is my equipment master class. Are there any questions? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> what about tank? Uh, what up, uh, Anil? Uh, Anil Guven. Um, what about tank? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, 